The member from Niagara West, Glanbrook. Thank you. Question uh, to the Premier. Premier, your budget contained a record-breaking deficit and a massive increase in provincial debt. Working families and seniors have made enormous sacrifices, many sadly choosing between filling the grocery cart or paying the bills. They gave you, Premier, through their sacrifices, an increase of some $26 billion, and you spent it all. It took from Confederation to 2002 to get provincial debt to $111 billion. Premier, you're going to almost double it to $200 billion in five short years. Isn't this a shocking failure in your leadership? Premier. Speaking of the Minister of Finance. It's interesting uh, to hear from the member opposite. His government added $48 billion to the provincial debt. $48 billion, Mr. Speaker, in good times, in very good times. There is no doubt that governments around the world, the government of the United States, the government of Canada, the government of Alberta has gone from a surplus of $8 billion last June to a deficit of $1.4 billion now, Mr. Speaker. There's no doubt, and we take this issue very seriously. Unlike the member opposite, we're going to invest in new jobs, Mr. Speaker, 300,000 over the next two years, Mr. Speaker, and we're doing this in difficult times. There are difficult choices to be made. The member opposite and his party just one day say one thing, the next day say another thing. This government's taking action, Mr. Speaker, to build jobs, to grow this economy, and, sir, we will make sure. Supplementary. <laughs> Speaker, I never thought we'd see the return of Floyd Locker to the Ontario Legislature, but here he is before us today. I refer to the, the minister to his own budget papers, page 144 and 145, Minister, where it shows that Dalton McGuinty took the provincial debt from just over $100 billion to $200 billion despite record revenues coming into the Treasury. You took every penny, you spent it, and then some. I say to the minister, how can you tell the children and grandchildren today how they're going to benefit when you've doubled the debt through your irresponsible decisions that they're going to have to pay through higher taxes down the road. Sir. What they're going to get, Mr. Speaker, is good health care, good schools, a cleaner environment, and more jobs going forward, Mr. Speaker. What they won't get, what they won't get is a $5.5 billion hidden deficit, Mr. Speaker. What they won't get, Mr. Speaker, is what they won't get. What they won't get, Mr. Speaker, is a party in its pre-budget submission that says tax reform, like the federal government's recommending. They say that in their pre-budget uh, submission, and then the day after the budget, they say they're against it. The leader of the third party, the interim leader of the second party, says in principle we support this. Well, in fact, Mr. Speaker, here it is. It is a tax cut, Mr. Speaker, for 93 percent of Ontarians. The day before the budget, the second party said cut corporate taxes, cut personal taxes. We've done that, Mr. Speaker. Now they say they're going to vote. Thank you, Minister. Stop.